and I'll just give you a quick overview of the right wing mini track that I've been building. Comes in a big old box. The parts weren't particularly protected, but they were perfectly fine. This is very strong EPP. First thing is to put the wing tubes in, messy job. But uh, once in, then you put the covers on and uh, wait for them to dry, then slice them off and sand them to make them look good. Next thing is to put all the carbon rods in the body and on the wings. That really strengthens it up, but it's a messy, painful job because the little rods give you splinters in the fingers. The uh, elevons were cut from the balsa supplied and then sanded. The template wasn't perfect, but it came up fine when I worked it out myself. They're painted and sanded, painted and laminated. This is me admiring how far I've got. The motor mount it has to be cut in, that's a pain as well, but hey, it's, it's not a plug and play plane. I found this 3D printed uh, nose on Thingiverse for the 03 units, and that supplies vents in the front. The air is pushed up through the uh, transmitter box, so there's lots of ventilation, but it's quite streamlined. I played around with some color options uh, that purple was called Blurple because it's blue and purple and this is the design I came up with. Uh, I like it. it. That was then laminated which to protect it but uh, I always think it makes it look a bit messier. Next thing was to uh, use the template item to cut the nose off and stick on the uh, 03 unit and this is as far as I got then. I'm just about ready to put the electronics in. The top hatch looks lovely, but I don't, I don't like the way it's the full length, so I worked on that later. It's a T-Motor AS2820 1700KV custom wind, available from it 3 dxr The mount is special from Grumpy's Hobby Shop, and it's a 160 degree temperature resist uh, print. This is the cover I printed for the back over the ESC. Uh, I designed that myself. These are servos, high-tech HS220MG, metal geared, ball bearing. Uh, the push rods are carbon sleeved as well. Uh, the XT30 three pin connectors for, to allow me to take the wings off. And there's a Matek M10Q GPS unit there. That works really well. At the back we've got a Hobby Wing Skywalker 80 amp ESC. Uh, the flight controller is a Maytech 405 WMN. And I added an Elec Hawk 5 amp RC switch there so I can turn the O3 unit on and off independently of the power. This is uh, after I applied some graphics and I was just waiting for the uh, for the purple thumb screws at that point. And there they are, all in place. I think that looks rather, rather splendid. I'm looking forward to the maiden.